company like Cornet with uh, digital printing systems um, has always been struggling to find the right platforms to um, introduce those uh, systems to the industry. As you can imagine, over the years, um, we have been exhibited actually at a lot of shows. Um, usually, the shows that there are in the industry are based on the or, or let's say they have been focusing on something else in the past. So they have been digital print shows, they have been screen printing shows, they have been shows for promotional goods. And over the past few years, all those shows have started to develop a little, little corner sub-show uh, that deals with digital textile printing. But uh, the digital printing space in textile has always been the appendix of something which uh, kept us from um, developing and seizing the full potential. So, uh, when Messe Frankfurt uh, thankfully started um, their brainstorming sessions and uh, contacted a few vendors in the industry, um, they talked to us, thankfully, and uh, we had the opportunity to contribute input uh, to this new event. And indeed, um, this event is really unique in the sense that for the first time we now have a dedicated show that deals with the digital printing on textiles. Even when you think of uh, ITMA, you mentioned it before, it's a um, textile manufacturing show and uh, the, the share of uh, exhibitors that deal with digital printing within that show is probably just one or two percent. Um, this is a little bit reflected of the, a little bit reflective of the market opportunity uh, for digital printing and textile also. Digital textile printing um, is a little bit special. Um, for a reason that I would call um, the digital economics because they are very special. In digital printing, you don't need to spend uh, setup cost, screen cost, um, print form cost. Um, that means you can actually print very, very small print runs profitably and with very high speed and with a very short response time. Of course, when you print larger quantities, like a million shirts, a million copies of the same thing actually, um, you will uh, notice that the ink prices uh, in digital printing obviously are a little bit more expensive than ink prices in the traditional methods. So at one point there is a break even, let's say, um, where the analog printing methods become more profitable and more interesting than the digital approach. So digital printing is not a one-fits-all approach and by no way I'm claiming that it will get 100% market share in 5 or 10 years, but um, it is a perfect enabler for a number of very special applications. Um, a number of companies um, that are very successful with uh, e-commerce approaches uh, in the press pack that we included with your materials. You will see examples like uh, Spoonflower, for example. It's um, a fabric uh, printing company and e-commerce service provider from the US, um, which has had great successes. Um, what they do is they offer a website where um, customers can order uh, quantities from as little as one or two square meters with their individual designs, get it shipped home, and uh, can do nice things with that, like making their own shirts, like making their own lampshades, I don't know what. And this is exactly the kind of new application. So when you want to be successful with digital <coughs> printing, you need to show a certain value add. Um, you need to, um, let's say, have an application it makes it really, really interesting for people to accept the little bit different economics that you, that you see in their business models. Um, the market opportunity, we believe, is practically unlimited. Um, we have heard a little bit about the numbers before, and the um, penetration rate of digital actually is very, very small in most of those applications. So be it on garments, be it in roll to roll, in no of these areas, uh, looking at the number of meters uh, that's really produced, the penetration rate of digital today is more than 2 or 3 percent, which means that um, the market uh, opportunity is practically unlimited. Digital printing does not only have, uh, let's say, an economic um, very special character, it also has a very special character uh, in terms of design. Um, digital printing methods uh, enable very, very uh, unique design methods when it comes to um, solids, when it comes to gradations, when it comes to very fine lines. Um, there is a lot of really um, creative and amazing things that you can do and you can only do them in digital printing. So um, we have heard already uh, buzzwords of the industry today like fast fashion, uh, mass customization, 
Um, I'm sure you heard about all of them before. Um, actually, I'm coming from the uh, traditional printing industry and um, the paper printing industry has undergone a drastic change by the introduction of digital printing 10, 15 years ago. And we at Chronic believe that the same transformation is going to happen in textile printing now, just 10 years later. So the um, penetration, as I said, is very little at this point. There is a lot of uh, industry insiders that are still challenging the reliability, the print quality, looking at things under the magnifying glasses, but um, the technology is really, really maturing. And a company like Cornet with the, um, let's say, innovation potential that I described in the very beginning, um, doing away with all uh, external steps, like in the case of the unequal to printing systems, you don't need the pretreatment step, you don't need a finishing step, you don't require washing, steaming. Um, the fabric, as it comes from the printer, is ready to use. I think this is really a unique enabling technology that uh, gives you the opportunity to um, enable and implement business processes, business models that you have not been able to do before. And um, one thing is for sure, the digital printer is just the very tool at the end of the chain. Uh, it needs to work, uh, it needs to produce the quality and the output, but by no means, of course, it replaces creativity and your business intelligence. And this is very, very important. So um, in this new show, I really hope that the vendors in the industry will be able to showcase this great combination uh, between the technology <coughs> that enables those creative applications and those applications. It is going to be a, a combination out of uh, high tech and creativity. And uh, this is going to be a very, very unique approach, a very unique trend show. And uh, we as a vendor feel that it is a 100% fit for us and it's really an opportunity that we don't find elsewhere in the market. <laughs>